Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you have been here with me for a minute, then do you guys remember a long, 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 long time ago in a galaxy far, far away? I told you guys that I would make a video for you if you were interested, and a lot of people were interested and I'm just getting to it now. I wanted to show you guys how to make money on the internet and this is not specific to being an influencer. A lot of these ways that you can make money on the internet are also just for everyday people. So I thought that you guys might be interested and maybe you can utilize both of them because me being an influencer and also just like a normal regular person, all of these ways to try to get some extra money because I am a broke ass bitch. So let's just get started. So the first way that you can make money on the internet is through affiliate programs with brands. So what I'm talking about is affiliate marketing. Some of the most popular ones out there are Morphe, Ofra, Sigma, Jue. Basically, anytime that someone has a discount code or a link and then prompt their followers to use it, the person will make a part of that sale. So for example, I have a Ofra discount code. If you guys use my discount code, I will get a chunk of that sale. I also am an affiliate with other programs such as Makeup Geek, I think where they give me a link and then when you click on that and make a purchase I also get a part of that commission but it's not a necessarily a discount code that gets me that commission. So that's one of the ways that and probably like the biggest way that people make money on the internet. That being said, you kind of have to have like a huge following for that one. Not everyone is going to have that available to them. And then you also do have to usually make a quota before they will pay that out to you. Most brands, it's $50. And then if it's just one, you know, if it's just like a small person who has that affiliate code, like obviously it would be hard to make that. You would have to generate a lot of sales to hit the minimum where you would get a payout. The next thing is ads on a website or blog. This I am less familiar with, but if you guys search it online, if you have a, a blog, even like a small blog, if you generate traffic to your blog, you can put ads on your website or your blog and then you can make money from that as well. The next way to make money are companies like Magic Links and Reward Style. I use Magic Links myself. If you guys are interested in signing up with Magic Links, I will leave my referral link down below. I was actually introduced to them through Jessica Braun. I love her YouTube channel and she made a video and basically said what they were a long time ago and then I checked them out and I've received a few payments from them. So what that is, I'm not sure if you need a minimum number of subscribers or whatever, but I know with reward style you do need like a minimum. But with both of them, you basically make your link. So say that I am, I want to talk to you guys about Hourglass Foundation. So I love this Hourglass Foundation and then I want to talk to you guys about it. And if you guys are interested, I would then make a link with Magic Links and then link that either in my stories on my Instagram or on my YouTube channel. And then every time someone would click on that link, I would earn a percentage of the purchase, which isn't a lot, but it does add up here and there. So it's nice to have that as an option. Next are referral programs. This is not something that you necessarily have to have an audience for, but if you do have an audience, then it is going to help you get more referrals. So some popular ones are Ebates and Dosh, and those are both cash back apps. I will link my referral links down below if you guys are interested. If you've never used them before, so basically you go to the Ebates website or you go to the Dosh app and you can see like what 
stores are participating with Dosh it's a little bit easier because you literally just go to a store and then swipe your card and that's it and then the money appears in your account with Ebates you do have to activate it when you plan on shopping at a certain place but it's really nice if you guys are ever like a huge fan of a company it might be good to check if they have a referral program so definitely something like Dosh Ebates, Grove, I know that they all have a referral program where you can earn a store credit. Well, with Grove, it's a store credit. With Dosh and Ebates, it's actual money. So it's really helpful if you want to refer your friends and then you get a little bit of something back. Another way to make money online is through YouTube and AdSense. And I know that you can put ads from AdSense onto other mediums as well, not just YouTube, but YouTube is one of the main ways that you can earn revenue and you just activate the AdSense and when you meet the minimum requirement to have ads on your channel and then YouTube just plays the ads. You can just click on monetize, click it, forget about it, and then the money gets added to your account. So that one's kind of like perfect. It's like mindless. You don't really have to think about it. If you guys do have a YouTube audience or even if you don't, if you use AdSense for your blog or whatever, that money can add up as well. And then the last thing I wanted to talk about are apps. And there are so many apps out there, I am sure. I wanted to talk to you guys specifically about some that I have tried and that I've been using for a long time. So the first one I would like to talk about is Receipt Hog. Hog, hog. How did I go in my life from always saying hog to now hog? What did I say? Receipt hog, receipt hog, receipt hog. So you know what a hog is or a hog. <laughs> this is so weird. Um, it's a pig. It's like a big pig. My upstate New York accent, like I have been like forgetting about it. I've been repressing it for all these years and now lately for some reason it's just coming out in full force. So if I'm saying things a little weird, then you guys know why. Receipt hog. Basically what it is, is you download it on your phone and then you go to the camera and then take a picture of receipt and then it gives you points once you reach the certain threshold then you can cash that out and it will send money to your PayPal. I have been using this app for years, maybe like three or four years, and I don't honestly get that much from it, but it is something, it's like $50, I think, when you meet the top threshold. And for me, that maybe takes like nine months to get it. So like nine months getting $50, but still if you have like bills and stuff to pay like I do, then it really helps. Like I don't make that much money in my day job. And then I wanted to talk to you guys about Drop. I love this app. So what it does is you go and you pick like your power offers and then every time that you shop at one of those stores, it gives you points and then you can redeem them for gift cards. I've used this so many times. I've gotten so many gift cards. Starbucks is on here. Sephora is on here. I've gotten so many Sephora gift cards from this app and it actually does work. I know that like I'm just like a random person on the internet and why would you guys trust me? <laughs> and I get that, but you know, I hope that you do trust me because I feel like I have so much to lose and I don't have a lot to lose as far as like subscriber or view count or anything, but just my relationship with you guys. Like I love you guys. I always try to tell you guys what I think is worth it as far as like spending your money and I would never want to lead you away where I am not being like 100% truthful. So I know it sounds weird. It sounds sketchy, but it actually does work. Another way that people make money is Ibotta and that's another app. I don't love this one as much, but a lot of people do tend to like it. But the problem with that is that they don't have a lot of like vegan and cruelty free options on their app. So basically you can go to like, let's go to Target and then it'll tell you everything that you can get cash back on. Oh, Gardein is on there, that's exciting. Oh, a non-dairy milk, that's also exciting. So delicious, they must be catering towards me. Yeah, that is, it's for me. But they also have like lean cuisine, which I don't think is vegan. And they have like 
Aveeno, which is not cruelty free, Neutrogena, which is not cruelty free. So for me, it's not like my most favorite way to get money back because there's not a lot of options on the app. If they had more vegan and cruelty free options on there and like more vegan food on there, then I would be more inclined to use it. So if you are buying something for maybe your family or whatever, and if you buy those types of items, then this might be a really good app for you. And then one, two more apps that I have to talk about that I talked about last time is the Dosh app. And now what that is, is you get cash back when you shop in store or when you shop online. So it'll tell you the offers that are near you. And right now what is really popular is that they have Dunkin' Donuts, which they just added which is awesome. I know a lot of people go there. And then you can also shop online as well. And then Ebates is kind of the same way. So you go and you activate your cash back and then you can, they also have a, an in-store option. So you can go shop at Sephora, 4% cash back, or Best Buy, JCPenney. There's like so many options and then it's a really easy way to get cash back. Another way to make money online is through sponsorships. If you guys do have a social media, or even if you don't have a social media following but you're just interested in knowing about it, ads and sponsorships are a huge way to make money and it is a deal that the influencer has made with the brand or you know sometimes you there's like middlemen here but basically it's between the influencer and between the brand they will either sponsor a youtube video a portion of a youtube video instagram story you can see this so much and it's such a problem because people don't disclose but they are supposed to be disclosing the ads and if you see that something is an ad then it is a sponsor and this is a huge way that influencers are able to make money and to live their life on the internet and provide content for you guys. So yeah, that's about all the ways that I know about how to make money on the internet. If you guys have any additional ways that you make money on the internet, whether or not you're an influencer, please let me know down below. I would be super interested. I always love finding out new apps and I'm sure that you guys are the same way. Whenever I post like drop or dash, like I know that you guys got super excited. I will leave my uh, referral link for magic links, dash, ebates, and drop down below. I think I have one for Ibotta as well, but I think everyone has Ibotta. So it's not like super super exciting probably but anyway thank you guys so much for watching i hope that this helped you in some way and i will meet you down below in the comments and chat with you guys you guys know i love talking to you and i'll see you guys in the next one